Hey everyone, it's Jenny and Angie, my Hi. sister, and today we are going to be doing a shopping haul, a mall haul. We um, went to the mall yesterday and shopped till we dropped, basically. Mm -hmm. And so I've got some stuff from Victoria's Secret and <laughs> TJ Maxx. I couldn't think of TJ Maxx and mm -hmm. uh, some Sephora stuff. So I'll start my part first because I was the only thing I was the only person that got anything from the Max and Victoria's Secret. Yes. So Victoria's Secret is no, I've done quite a few hauls on Victoria Victoria's Secret here lately, but I had some coupons and I really wanted to use them, so you know. Well. Use the coupons. I got these for free. Some underwear. It kind of reminds me of Sephora bags because it's black and white. And that's your baby making a lot of noise. He's the most precious butt baby. Is that right, Bab? Boo Bear. Yeah. What else is in here? I had another pair of underwear somewhere in here. In this mix. Oh, there it is. There it is. And then this was another pair of just black. I don't think you can ever go wrong. It's sort of like a meshy feeling. Feels comfortable. And then I got me a bra. And I always have to get the Victoria's Secret collection bras. I can't do the pink bras because it's just, they don't go up to my size. I don't know about anybody else. But pink does run smaller. But I do like the pink, like sweatpants and stuff. And then that's the back. I love the back. Super love excited. the back. Super excited for that. All right, let's get into the TJ Maxx, and we'll get into the goodies, which is Sephora. Sephora's always the fun one. So, TJ Maxx, my big ticket item was this purse, which she actually found, because I was digging around in purses. I was like, I need a purse. And this is Michael Kors. And I am going to take the plastic or anything out of, out of here to show you the inside of it. I like it. It's it's, it's, it's nice cool. and big. That's what she said. <laughs> Sorry. And uh, office reference. Love the office. If anybody else watches the office, let us know down below. She's seen it over four times. Yes. Yeah. Probably over seven times. She's watched a lot. But it's a really good show. So that's what it looks like. Here's on. Here's on. Here's what the inside looks like. So it's, it's black. And it's got a little zipper pull on the inside. And it's got a place for your phone. Or so I have an iPhone, so it probably wouldn't fit my phone. But it's got a lot of nice space. It's, it's, uh, it's definitely the right size. So this actually retailed for $298 at the max. It was $79.99. Steal, y'all. That's a steal. Uh, yeah, very so good excited. price. So excited. I can't very, wait to change my price. purse out. I cannot wait to change my purse out. Because I've carried the purse I'm carrying now for a good six months. It's It's been a while. Alright, I got a few other things at the max. I have got some NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. Uh, oh, I'm my loving sister, those she actually, she actually bought this for me a while back. I love these colors. These are going to go in a future giveaway. Stay tuned. Um, it'll probably already be posted, though. We're doing a giveaway. Um, but this is for another giveaway in future. We've got uh, some giveaways coming up. And then I bought some... Uh, NYX, the liquid suede. I've not tried this, so I wanted to try the liquid suede. I have suede. tried it in the, I had the purple shades, three purple, and they are amazing. I, I, I'm i surprised by how much I like them. I love the soft matte lip cream formula. It's really good. It's Does really it stay good. on? Uh, yeah, it stays on. It stays on pretty good. You may have to reapply. And then they have, they had some real technique stuff. And this is uh, limited edition color correcting made easy real techniques color correcting brush set now you wouldn't have to use these to color correct you could use these as eyeshadow even some face you can use a brush however you want to use a brush i was thinking of using it like a blending brush in my eyes yeah definitely you could definitely do that and then it's got the little sponges which these would be great for like under eye concealer or little or even spot concealing so we were going to split this up among ourselves so, two and two, two brushes, two sponges. 
So that's that's a good time. And then something else that I got. I actually got two of these because I'm going to put it in a giveaway. Um, is the Real Techniques two miracle sponges and two stands. I always heard those were really, really good sponges. I actually do have a Real Technique sponge and I like it a lot. I don't think I like it as much as my L'Oreal sponge, but it's a pretty good sponge. So, got two of those. Like I said, one of those will be going in a giveaway. And then I got some clothes. I had to get me some work pants. And these are just some basic, basic black pants. Um, this is D for jeans. D jeans. D jeans. I've seen a lot of this brand in TJ Maxx, but they I tried them on and they feel super comfy. Like they got a little stretch to them. And then I had to get me some shorts because it's starting to feel like summertime here in Kentucky. That's Kinsey. 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 Uh, jeans. Jean shorts. I don't know. I just really like the style. That's another brand. They sell a lot of uh, TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx. Kinsey and the D-Jeans. Okay. Now for the fun part. Let's get into these Sephora purchases. Okay. I got a big bag. I she got, got a smaller the, bag. Yeah. Although she probably should have got the bigger bag. But whatever. It's whatever. It's Everybody whatever. knows the VIB Rouge sale is going on now and I think the VIB sale starts next weekend and then the Beauty Insider and um, since she is a rouge I got to piggyback off her and use her 15% 15 off as well so bonus for me because I think the VIB rouge goes this weekend mm -hmm. and then next we also weekend. get next weekend yeah VIB rouge they get the first access which if you spend a thousand dollars in a year as for that's how you get VIB rouge they should give you more perks to be honest I, I definitely think I know you get I the free shipping so too. but I think there should definitely be some more perks because I know with Ulta with their points you can turn those into you can basically turn it into almost like cash because you would get so much off your order but we're waiting on um ulta to come to our town is, it is being built as we speak so. we are so excited it's supposed to be opening up this summer so hopefully in may june hopefully all right since i did a lot of the talking let's show an item that you got <clears throat> okay, something I'm really excited about that I haven't used yet. It is so good. The Dr. Brandt's um, Complexion Perfection Set. And it's got, I think, five items in it. I know that I have used the Porno, Pores Dermabrasion, which I absolutely love. The Luminizer Primer. I've actually got a full size of that in a boxy charm, and I've used it today. That's what I'm gonna get. And I'm excited about the pore refiner primer and the magnetite age defier. So um, that was thirty four dollars. Thirty four for all that. And, and Dr. Brandt is expensive. It's really expensive, and I think they're having um, a special with Sephora right now um, because they were in a boxy charm the vacuum mask and it was really good too i used it so i think that may be why they're getting some of these like little sets. good deal sets yeah yeah so that's that was, a really good deal good deal so that was really good okay it's what, been one of my favorite skincare brands that i've tried here lately this is not really that exciting but these are the shishado cotton rounds and um we keep these in stock we both use them we can't go back to the little round, because I used to get them from the Dollar Tree, the little round cotton rounds, but these are just so much better. They're a lot more gentle on the eye area. I don't know. I love these. I love these. Yeah, well, we've talked about those money. in an empty because they don't leave the little... The, the little uh, fuzzies. Cottons. Okay. My next item... And I have been on a quest to find a halfway decent mascara. She is on a quest. Her favorite is the Stila huge lash huge lash and i guess stila's getting phased out of sephora it was all on the clearance section i think it or sephora in pennies because uh, i think they're limited room but not necessarily at the bigger sephora's just really just, yeah, i didn't just, know that i yeah. didn't know if it was just getting phased out or what but all the stuff on the clearance they didn't have any of the mascara left and it made me sad all day but um i do like the two face better than sex it's i like it it's not my favorite 
So I'm trying this one, and I used it today, and I, I just, I don't know, y'all. I don't think did. it's better than false lashes, even though this is as better See, than I don't false like, lashes. I don't like the, the better than uh, sex regular mascara. Oh, do you want to open it up and show oh, yeah. Yeah. what it it's, looks like? You can... And it's got two. And I was kind of confused because I thought the white one would be the first step. The little, like, primer. I thought it was primer, but apparently it's extensions. You put the big one on, the gold. Like, it's just normal mascara with the wand and what have you. And then um, you put this on. Second, and it's white. And it coats your lashes white. And then you put this on again. Yeah. Like, my makeup routine does not take long enough. Here's a whole extra whole five minutes. whole other extra step for you. Right. So, I'm going to keep using it. See if maybe I can work with it a little bit. Like and get said, more, if, sometimes, if I'm not used to something, it gets easier once I've used it a few times. And I, I know, like I said, but like I've mentioned before in some, uh, in some of my previous videos, sometimes if you have a mascara open for a little bit longer, that formula will work a little bit better. Yeah. True. This is not, and just so you know, this is not a very wet formula at all. It is very dry. I was almost wondering, did I get one that was dried out? But it was sealed up, so I think it's just me. <laughs> That's my face to a dried out mascara. Yeah. <laughs> okay. um, I also got a mascara um, because I was trying to wet wall mascara. You're going to see it in the hate it for April. But any who's, I um trying the benefits at bad girl bang uh, let me tell you i just tried this today so this is almost like a first impressions love it like the packaging too i think the packaging is really cute and then the wand is not typically a wand i go for or you go for but it gets every lash it does look really good on I was going to say, I can get a little bit closer. I don't know how well it's going to show up, but I really, really like it. And it's not clumpy. No, no, not clumpy at all. Okay, what else do I have in here? Oh, here's something that I tried today that I like, surprisingly liked, was the Tarte Amazonian BB Tinted Moisturizer. And I got it in light medium, and I am wearing it today. And she usually likes full coverage, full coverage foundations she usually doesn't go for bb cream but she wanted to get a bb cream for you know since it's starting to get a little bit more warmer it's going to be summer right i wanted something i could wear to the pool and it not be real heavy and is that an ounce that you get you it? get say on the box it looks like a pretty good size and it's, it's got uh spf 20 it doesn't tell me the ounce surprisingly yes it does 1.7 ounces 1.7 so I really, really liked it, and I got it in a light medium, and so I really enjoyed how it um, felt on the skin. And I got some concealers. Um, I'm trying to try more Sephora collection stuff. I'm planning to do a video here in the future. So I got a Sephora collection concealer. This is in the shade O2 Meringue. And then I also got a Too Faced. This was just an impulse purchase. It's in the shade light, but it looks like it might do okay. Um, I'm more fair light, um, depending. But I, I still wanted to try it because I'm running low on concealers. And the next thing I've got is this Kat Von D, the Everlasting um, Glimmer Veil in the shade Starflyer. I'm actually wearing it and like it surprisingly well. It is like a purpley Purple. holographic shimmer. It's, it's a very unique color. And all the other um, glimmer veils are in a black package, and this one's in a white. And uh, we were thinking I feel like be Ace Freely for... from Kiss <laughs> yeah. in, in my lipstick and my little stars. Stars, yeah. And it also looks like it could possibly be a lip topper because she said she had to put a lot of coats. Yes, yes. I thought I think maybe it's supposed to be a lip topper. I had not researched this color. I've loved every Kat Von D lip product I've ever had from the bullets to the liquid lips. Um, I wear them at work. They last all day. I cannot recommend them enough. They are so good. So good. I have mine in the shade Shock Pool. It's a pink. Oh, I want to get more. It's, yes. I, I get compliments on that one all the time too. 
And then, of course, something else I had to get. This was, this is a holy grail for me. And they had to stop selling it there because there was a recall on it. Um, it's the Benefit Give Me Brow. I'm in the shade 5. I like my brows a little bit darker. Um, but it's so easy. I don't do, like, Instagram brows. I just like to make it look like my brows are just kind of well, well kempt. Well, you know, just, you know. I don't know. Just natural is a good word for it. I really, really like this. Here's my next thing is the tulips. I have not opened I this I recommended yet. this. The Sephora brand. I've had this on a video. Every time she, my sister's wearing this, I'm like, what are you wearing? I love that lipstick. What are you wearing? And it's this. So I finally got my own. And it, these are only like eight bucks. I yeah, think. the Sephora Collection Lip Stories. They, I want to try more of them. Um, it's in the lip shade stories. Two Lips. And it's like... It's a play on words, like two lips the flower, but it's spelled T-W-O, like two lips, which is, I don't know, I just find that so amusing. And so let me do my lip beats, what I've got on. I'm a little behind on this because I know everybody, all the big beauty YouTubers did their reviews on these. This is a Ciate London Glitter Flip. Like I said, I have it on my lips. I really, I'm really, really digging this color. Love the packaging. It's got the stars, which the Celte London, their packaging usually has the stars. This is in the shade Hollywood. So, so far, it's so good. I really like the way it looks on. I might have to get me one. The last thing I purchased, um, because the rest of my stuff will be points. Point oh, purchase. no, I've got two. Okay. She got two more. I got, okay, we got this, the Daily Brush Cleaner, the spray. Which I um, wish, I think they only had that size. I do think they make it a bigger size. We've used their brush cleaner before. It's been a while, and it's really, really good. Really, really good, and I need to clean my brushes and blenders. She never, she is not on a cleaning like, schedule. Mine's every week. May not get is, deeply cleaned every week, but... This was another impulse purchase. Um, this is the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Complexion Primer Smoothing Rosehip and Argon Oil Pore Perfecting. Which, I like the bottle. I think this is cute. The only thing is, uh, th this was my first impression, it is almost a little bit too tacky than what I like in a primer. But, I've only tried it once, so I don't want to say I don't like it because I want to keep using it. But I think my complexion looks pretty good. I don't know if it's the foundation or this, but. Okay, now my last thing I purchased was this brush from Sephora. It's a double-ended eyeshadow brush, a big side and a little side. Um, like large precision shadow. So, and it's a number 206. I have not used it yet. I have used some Sephora so, collection brushes. They're good. Yeah, They're th good. this looks like a good one. So I'm excited to try it. I'm always in eyeshadow brushes. And I have lots, but I always need more. <laughs> and the last item I purchased was the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. Um, makeup setting spray, long lasting and moisturizing. I have dry skin, so anything that says moisturizing um, sucks me right in. And this is what it looks like. It's a pretty decent size. I don't want to commit to the full size. But um, I wonder if this is comparable to the, to the MAC Fix Plus. Anybody know? Anybody you should tell us this? down below. Tell let us. No, let us Cause know. Because I've not ever used the Max, Mac Fix Plus, but I have wanted to. I, I wanted love to all too. the Mac stuff I've tried oh, mostly. Everything from They're, Mac I've tried, I like. Yeah. I, I didn't like a few of their mascaras, but I'm super picky when it comes to mascaras, you can tell. All right, let's get into your point perks. And okay. then we got a little bonus. Okay. Well, bonuses. This was a hundred point perk right here, and I think I talked about this in an empty. The Tarte Brighter Days Tinted, um, or not tinted, but highlighting moisturizer, and I love it. Do I you have use not, it I didn't all over the it. face? I use it all over the face okay. before I put my primer on. Because you could probably use it all over the face, or you can like use it to if you, to spot highlight before you put down some powder highlight to make it really blinging. Because today I wore the Tatcha the water cream. But oh, this is so I love good. too. I just like to have a couple different moisturizers. Okay. Was that the only point perk you got? No. Nope. I also got this Sunday Riley Good Jeans. Sunday think... Riley is supposed to be so good. I'm not trying anything, but it's another one of those brands that's really expensive. 
So I'm kind of excited to see what she has to say about it. Yeah, I'm just... excited to try it. It's lactic acid treatment, deeply exfoliates, and I'm all about the exfoliation. Exfoliate. So it's just a little point perk. I think that might be the last point perk. This... Oh, no, one more. Oh, she got one more point perk. Look at that. And then the Lancome. This um, feels XL booster. XL booster. So I might even try this before some of my mascaras to I've see had if that this. I've had it in my makeup of the week. I've tried it before. I do like it. I think it's good. It's it it um this is a mascara it, primer. Yeah, it really conditions. And you can even some people I've even heard makeup artists they will even like put that on before bed to uh condition the lashes. Right. All right, let's show our little... Oh, yeah, I'm excited about this, this for some reason. This is so cute. It's a little card holder, um, which will go with my purse really perfectly. Or if, another thing I love about these is, like, if you're at a theme park or if you're out and you don't want to carry a big purse, but you want to make sure you have your ID and your wallet and you can put a little bit of cash in here. Perfect. Or your debit card. Or debit card. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I think the point of this was to put your Sephora, your VIB card in. But yeah. It's still cute. It has like a couple of slots. So. Yeah, you, so, yeah. And then we also got a baggie full of samples. Yeah, I'm not even real sure what's in mine. Which, it's, this, it's the same thing. So, we both got this Buxom Big Tease Mascara. I'm ex super excited to try this. I know I've tried one of their mascaras, and I really, really liked it. Then, here on this card, it's the Clinique Cover Up Without the Touch-Ups Beyond Perfecting Super Concealer Camouflage and 24-Hour Wear. In all honesty, I'm probably not going to use this because there's never enough in here to, to, stamp, to, to try. try. Even for one-time use. And this is the Josie Maron, Josie, okay. Josie Maron, Maron, 100% uh, pure argan oil. Love. We, we love this stuff. It's, I probably will use this like one day when I'm getting ready to, to use this. I'll use this instead of a moisturizer. I'll use this argan oil as the moisturizer instead of a lotion. Lotion, yeah, because it's that good. It is that good. Um, we got some liquid 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 blender cleanser i need to use that on my blenders right yeah. now i've actually tried this and it's really really good then we got some alginist ultimate anti-aging cream i'm gonna try this tonight. i love the alginist brand um I do too and so a lot of times you can find this brand at tj maxx for yeah, way cheaper and um I know these little sample packs aren't really enough to, to know, but it's good to see if it will break you out. I know it won't be able to be enough to test to see if it'll be anti-aging, but I still kind of like some of these foil packs. Like, this is a good one-time use foil pack. Yeah, and I think this is another good one-time use. This is from Fresh, the, oh, yeah. the Umbrian... Umbrian Clay Purifying Mask. So that's kind of interesting. Purifies, which she's got the... I'm just throwing mine around. And then I'm super excited to try this next item. I think this is the last one. It's the Tarte Skincare Drink of H2O Hydrating Boost. A lot of the Tarte um, facial uh, skincare, that's the word I'm looking for, I really, really like. I have too, and I was surprised by how much I liked it. I didn't didn't really know until I started getting a couple of point perk stuff and like trying the it out. spray and like the kits and stuff, and they had under eye gels. How good their skincare line was. Um, yeah, they're mist. One of their um, I like the, tart. Like the they're kind of all radiant. over the place. Yeah, yeah. With everything, I'm wearing a tart shadow. Just that we're talking about it. I don't know about it. It was a, one of the rainforest of the sea palettes that I got in a boxy charm. I don't know about and it. And I just don't know about the colors. That, that palette wasn't even very exciting to look at. It was just kind neutral of, and yeah. blue. But I still want to keep using it. So that was everything for our haul. This video got kind of long, but hopefully you stick with us and watch it and let us know if you've tried any of these items. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. I would greatly, greatly and appreciate it. hit the it. subscribe hit down that subscribe below. button. You know you want to hang out here. And anything else you want to add? Nope. nope. Just give us some comments, critiques, all that good stuff. What have you. And with that, have a fabulous day.
Bye. Bye.